In addition to the ongoing extinction of plant and animal species, which is clearly irreversible, one of the most catastrophic consequences of global warming, sea level rise, is also essentially irreversible on any timescale relevant to our civilization, certainly on the timescale of centuries to millennia. And this catastrophe is well underway. The NASA gray satellite missions have been measuring the mass loss in the polar ice caps since the beginning of this century. And you can see uh, on the, this, the graph on the bottom is telling you the mass loss in, of the ice in gigatons per year. And it's shown in red and orange colors on, on the maps of Greenland and Antarctica on the right. And this, this mass loss is well, over, well underway. In Greenland, we can see every year that more ice, loss is in, more ice is lost in the summer than grows in the subsequent winter. And Antarctica is also losing mass, in particular in the West Antarctic Peninsula and West Antarctic Ice Sheet region. But something very unpredictable happened two years ago, and perhaps you can see this in the blue curve at the bottom, and that is the trend in ice loss in Antarctica reversed, okay? When I saw that data about a year ago, I was gobsmacked. This is due to ice growth, the blue areas at higher elevations and in East Antarctica. And at the time, me and many other scientists were like, Wow, that's surprising. And it's especially a big wow because there's a narrative that exists out in the world of, of climate scientists that says it's a possibility that East Antarctica will gain mass as the polar climate warms and thus potentially cancel out sea level rise due to melt in Greenland and West Antarctica. 